We're here at the Lakey factory in Takoff, Czech Republic, and we're gonna build a trekking pole from tip to grip. <laughs> Lakey's engineers and machinists can turn raw aluminum into a tempered trekking pole with high tensile strength you're sure to appreciate on the trail. Today, they're going to give me a chance to build a pair of Corklight DSS trekking poles. We're gonna take the lower shaft section and I'm gonna taper it so that later on we can introduce the actual tip end. Start with that cylindrical tube and just taper the ends. The process of tempering aluminum requires a precise formula of heating and cooling. Lakey's recipe of time and temperature is a trade secret. The shaft sections behind me have been heat treated. We're gonna pull those out to test their strength. Now close it. And now you can see the strength of the pole once it's been heat treated and then maintains that strength and that perfectly straight line. To get the strength into the aluminum, still now we are the only one who are doing it this way and we get this good quality for the strength <laughs> of the pools. And this is the secret also from our company. The tapered, heat-treated pole sections are now ready for grinding and preparation for painting and for graphics. Anodizing is an electrochemical process that protects the aluminum poles and gives them a great looking finish. The pole shafts are dipped in an electrolyte acid bath and given an electric current. This releases oxygen molecules which bond with the aluminum surface, creating a durable finish that resists scratches and corrosion. Unlike paint, the finish is chemically bonded directly to the metal. If, uh, you can scratch it like this right. and it's uh, really, really good. For some tracking poles, like the cork light, that anodized finish is enough. Other poles get a paint job, and that starts with a powder-coated base to hold those bright colors. Lakey has perfected the method of multiple silkscreen designs on small cylindrical surfaces. Because of that, their poles just look really sharp. It's powdered and matte. Uh, yeah. then, okay. then anthracite, then white, then gold, and then all the shiny effects, or the shiny parts with shine, uh, are getting shiny here. This time, maybe. Again, harder than it looked. Lakey actually got its start making ski touring baskets, and today they make all of these plastic accessories you see here. Grips, locking mechanisms. And this, put the black stuff on it, and then you got a green and black one. Science. Every single DSS pole is hand glued. Now we're ready to attach the DSS tip to our cork light pole. How much carpenter skills come back to the right. right. And then the basket. Lakey poles dominate the competitive ski racing circuits, and that same technology and quality can be found in their trekking poles. External locking, foldable and anti-shock. So we are still the only company which offers a foldable pole with anti-shock. Their engineers perform rigorous quality control testing to make certain that Lakey poles are up for any adventure. So we're in Lakey's quality control department and we're going to do a little test here to check the tolerance on the flex tip. Uh, 
unique design to Lakey that ensures that you are not breaking pole shaft sections out on the trail. I'm gonna bend this thing like crazy. So we bent that pole the whole way to 30 degrees. You can see in just that short period of time, it came back to five degrees. Give it another hour or so, it'll actually come back almost the whole way to straight again. And there's your finished Lakey Corklite DSS pole. Those final steps, we took the three shaft sections, assembled them together, attached the speed lock mechanism, final packaging, and it's ready for the outdoors. Seeing the craftsmanship that goes into each pair of Lakey poles, I think I've finally learned the secret of how they make the poles so strong. There's something about the people, there's something about our collective passion for the activities that we're all mutually involved in that shows up, I think, in the, in the product. This is something we've got to show consumers because it's so cool. Across the border, near Lakey's headquarters in Germany, I went for a hike with Lakey's inspirational CEO, Valtraud Lenhardt. I'm proud of all innovations sure. we have with Lakey, that we take care about small details. To get behind a product, you have to use it. It's good for all people to go into the mountains with pools. It's better for the balance, mm -hmm. it helps you going up, it pushes you up. Uh, the breath is better because you right. are uh, more uh -huh. open and if you have a, a really heavy backpack, it's safer for you in this environment where it's slippery yeah. and a lot of rocks in. It's much safer. So you saw me slip earlier. Just walking and talking with Baltrud Lenhardt, the CEO of Lakey, seeing her passion for the company and learning about the history of the company and the dedication to just excellent product, but also the end user and being end users themselves. Um, just pretty inspiring stuff.